Welcome to the Kill Review Process. Kill stands for Compassionate End of Life Care. There are three parts to the Kill Review Process. The first is a Kill Review, where staff gather to remember the resident who has died and to review their end of life care. The second is the Relatives Questionnaire, wherein the resident's family or friends are invited to give their feedback. And the third and final part is where the multidisciplinary Kill group meet to examine both the feedback from the staff and the relatives and recognize what's working well and decide what changes need to be made to ensure that end of life care is continually being reviewed and improved in your care setting. This is Alice. Hello, Alice. Hi. Alice has been a care assistant at the Big Oaks residential home for five years, three months, and 12 days. A week after Frank dies, Alice makes her first checklist. She makes sure everyone knows that they are welcome to attend. Finds somewhere spacious, quiet, and comfortable, and arrives with essentials in hand and plenty of time to prepare. For the next hour or so, this is a space outside of the natural hierarchy for communal review and reflection. No titles, just people. Everyone's experience counts. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time to come today. Um, today, we are going to remember Frank. And we're going to talk about how we cared for him. Now, everybody here has had such an important role, and I hope you're going to all feel comfortable in sharing your thoughts and ideas about how we did care for Frank. Now, I'm here to help you do just that, and I hope we'll all listen to each other as well. So, let's begin by just taking a moment to remember Frank. Give everyone a moment's silence here. Let them get lost in their memories for a bit. It's important to allow them to acknowledge their... So here we are, Alice. The review is now underway. Remember, your job today is to facilitate, not direct. The review should flow naturally, like music. You just set the tone and then let the orchestra play. The next part of the review uses the jigsaw pieces. These jigsaw pieces create a framework for reviewing Frank's end-of-life care and cover everything from symptom management to teamwork to holistic care. They are an important part of the Kyo review, help keep the review focused and avoid it slipping into casual chat. They also help ensure that all aspects of Frank's care are covered so that nothing important is missed. The majority of a Kyo review is discussion guided by these jigsaw pieces. Your job is simply to keep that discussion flowing. During the discussion, you should also do a mental check on the comments added to the thoughts jar. Usually the group will raise issues themselves, but just keep an eye on this in case there is anything you need to explore further. Okay, Alice, so let's recap on the review. You started by welcoming everyone and telling them what to expect. Then we took a moment to remember Frank, and we also shared some memories about him. Next, we used the thoughts jar, where the group got to anonymously throw away a worry about Frank's end-of-life care. You made sure that each worry was addressed over the course of the meeting. Then we used the jigsaw pieces to review Frank's end-of-life care. We then filled out the feedback form with ideas and changes the group felt should be made in the Big Oaks. Finally, you closed the meeting, making sure that everyone's concerns had been addressed. It's three months since Frank died, and it's time to invite his family to give their feedback. Some care settings prefer to write to families first, and others prefer to make contact by phone. The review meeting put a crack in Brenda's wall, and steadily, day by day, brick by brick, it fell away. Buoyed by the reassurance of her colleagues, Charlie has found comfort in accepting that Frank had the death he wanted. 
peaceful, surrounded by the people he knew at Big Oaks.